Hello, my dear students. The activity which we are doing today is for the class plus one, and the objective of this activity is to write a sample space when the die is rolled once, twice, and so on. So, material required is a die, paper, pencil, pen, mark with one, two, three, four, five, six. Method of construction: Throw a die once and the number on it tops will be one two three four five six make a tree diagram showing the showing its six branches with the number one two three four five six see the figure now these are the six branches write the sample space of this outcome sample space will be one two three four five six here is a sample space if we write a six branches one two three four five and six if dice is thrown twice, it can fall in any of the 36 ways as shown by the tree diagram. So, you will write 1 and uh, here the 6 branches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and again 2 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and similarly you will draw each branches for each of 3, 4, 5 and 6. Write the sample space sample space for these outcomes. Repeat the experiment by throwing 3 times and write the sample space of the outcome using a t-diagram. So demonstration. If the dice is thrown once, the sample space will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have already written this. And number of element in the sample space will be 6 raised to power 1. If the dice is thrown twice, the sample space will be 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 and 2 1 2 2 6 again 3 1 2 3 6 and 4 1 4 2 4 3 4 4 4 5 and 4 6 5 1 2 5 6 and 6 1 2 6 6 these are the all the branches uh, the number of element in a sample space will be so 6 is power 2 so it will be 36 observations the number of element in sample space when dice is thrown once, it will be 6 raised to power 1, thrice 6 raised to power 3, and 4 times will be 6 raised to power 4. The application of this activity, the sample space of experiment is useful in determining the probabilities of different events associated with the sample space. Thank you so much for watching.